This is our float assembly ready to go onto the I-beam for your Seahorse Tidewright system. It consists of the scraper, the floats, the lip to keep the barnacles away from the boat, the fender, and the push tube, which pushes your fender and cleat to the desired height. In the box, the kit comes with the pre-assembled fender assembly with locking handle. It comes with the hardware with the shoulder washers uh, for mounting the IV. It comes with your float slide assembled other than the scraper. The scraper is very easy to install and the floats as well. Four bolts per when you're installing the floats, make sure the lip is forward and it keeps the barnacles away from your boat. And your cleat slide, same thing, it's all assembled just like the fender slide. Your lifter kit, which is the lifters which help allow this to lock to your push tube, the bolt for the push tube, and then this is the hardware for the scraper and the nuts and bolts for, or the bolts and washers for your floats. Scraper slide combination is designed to clean the bottom of the I-beam that's underwater. You simply slide it in. Okay, now we're going to stop it. We'll get to it. With the combination slide scraper put into the unit, there's a groove. What you do, you slide a screwdriver in, which will bring the slide over the grooves and it's as simple as with your power drill just self tapper goes right in there's four you put them in the four corners and you're done with the float assembly fender facing forward forward lip facing forward the kit comes with the stainless bolts and washers brass inserts I still like to put a little grease in them it's as simple as putting the four bolts in on both sides you're done your push tube gets bolted to your float slide. Very important, you have to have it on the same side as your handles. So it's easier doing it right once. It's as simple as sliding it into the groove, self-tapping bolt, and you're done. But you want to make sure you're on the same side as the handle. Okay, we're going to be installing the float system onto the Y-beam. It makes the job much easier doing it ahead of time. It's as simple as opening up the plastic scraper, sliding it in. Make sure you're putting it from the top down. Remember, the all thread goes through the bottom of the I-beam. You center it. You put a nut and washers on each side. Tighten her down and you will not lose the whole assembly when you're dropping the I-beam with it on into the water. Okay, with the Y-beam and the float assembly, we're ready to drop it in the water. The reason we put the float assembly on first, so it's clear as the dock. Once you drop it in the water, it's very, very light. Swing it down, bring it down to your predetermined height. You bring the strap around, hook it to your Y-beam. Is the pressure makes it nice and easy. The kit comes with a film on the back of the Y beam, shoulder washers which insulate your stainless steel bolts from the Y beam, and a stainless steel washer. That all comes with the kit. The shoulder washer just pops right into the pre drilled holes. You put your legs in with your washer and you're done. It's that fast. The y beam putting the bolts in is very, very simple because you clear the front of the Y beam. Okay, your fender assembly simply slides on the Y beam. You line up your push tube, which sets your predetermined height. Slide it down. Lock. Okay, now we have our cleat assembly. Same thing, just slides right down. Line up your push tube. Just 
slide it down, get it to the determined height, so if you push the handle, there's a lot. Now everything will stay at the height to match your boat. It's as simple as that, it's as quick as that. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, I'm available all the time. You can get me on the webpage or you can call me at the 800 number, which is 855-573-2467.